Okay, I'm running um, VirtualBox here, and I've got a um, Indian Firewall 2.4.1 right here running. Okay, and so I've got a firewall device running, and I've got an Ubuntu client um, operating system running, and we'll take a look at both of them right now. There's the firewall, Indian Firewall's running right here, and with a 192.168.0.1 IP address. And then I've got the Ubuntu client running right here, and I'm going through the um, initial installation script, um, configuration script for Indian Firewall. I'm just going to walk through it. So I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to pick my time zone. So I'll pick my time zone, and accept the license agreement and import a backup no I'm not importing a backup and then you can put in your password for your uh, web interface and for your root password so I'll do that really quickly okay alright and hit next okay and now on the next screen it's saying um, your red interface so this is going to be your WAN interface um, this will be the interface that's facing the internet and right now my I have two interfaces on my Indian firewall virtual machine and so I'm going to make sure that it's a it's a Ethernet, and it's going to be a uh, it'll be a DHCP um, interface, and I'll hit next. I could pick uh, Gateway, um, but I'll just pick Ethernet for right now. And then, if you had some uh, other network zones, you could pick them right now. Um, like a wireless, if you had a wireless device for wireless clients or um, a DMZ for an extra um, interface. I don't have any, so I'll hit no. This is just the virtual device. And then the green, the trusted, this is the, um, this is the uh, internal network, the local area network. It's also um, an Ethernet NIC on my virtual machine. And the IP address is going to be 192.168.0.1, obviously and and it is it is my ethernet zero or my first ethernet NIC eth zero and that's correct host name you can put in your host name right here I'll just say EFW Dan or Dan's lab or Dan's V lab for virtual lab okay and then if you have a domain name you can put it in right there hit next and the red interface is going to be the second interface so you could set up a maximum transmission unit if you know what it, it is or um, if you're going to spoof your MAC address you could do that right here um, use a different MAC address in other words um, DNS I'll just put it as um, automatic for now and hit next and DNS resolver automatic hit next and if you want to set up some email addresses for the administrator you could do that there hit next and then apply the configuration all right alright and, and it's going to take a couple of seconds and then it'll probably ask me to put in my password because I've now set a password for the um, router and then uh, we'll see the management interface I'm just going to refresh the window actually and there it is it wants my password so I'll put in admin and my password
and there it is. And there is the Endian firewall um, web interface. And we're ready to go. We can start working and configuring our firewall, um, setting up services, configuring the firewall, making it a proxy, uh, VPN, and it can do all that and put our client, our Ubuntu client, this is the Ubuntu client right here that we're running, put all that behind it and so basically from the client I'm managing the firewall here. Right, so this firewall, the management tool for this firewall device is run through a web interface usually from another computer on your network.